Okay, what we're looking at here is the empty cavity of the Les Paul. Okay, we've got a volume, volume, tone, tone. And on the modern classic, you're going to want to take these pull pieces on each one and solder it to the back as ground. So what I'm going to do is I've already bent those up. I'm going to just come through here and I'm going to solder those up real quick. Hopefully real quick. And again, you want to heat up the component. Let it warm up a little bit. Try not to uh, try not to bump the guitar body at all because you will burn the finish. You don't want to do that. Okay, and apply your solder. Blow on it. And let's go to the next one. giving me a trouble here. I'm going to add a little more solder and then I think what I'm going to do is try and grab my uh... oh there we go got it. Some of those can be a little bit uh, trying so if you don't get them right up close to the back of the potentiometer uh, you might have to hold it with a screwdriver and hold it down. That looks okay. I'll have to double check that one when you get a chance. And then the last one here. Okay, blow on the connection right when you're done, that'll help harden it. And I just want to go and double check and make sure that these are on there nice and solid. Okay, we're good to go. Next step for our ground circuit is this wire right here is coming from the bridge and that's what's going to ground to the bridge. So let's solder that down while we're here. Press this down. Oops. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, blowing it. Now we're connected to the the bridge right here and we've got these all soldered down. Our next situation is going to be to run the rest of the ground wire which I have uh, already prepped and as you can see all I did was kind of strip the wire insulation back a little bit I hope you can see this and what we're going to do is we're going to uh, start and run this just all the way around and then out here for the quarter inch jack and always give yourself plenty of wire because things do happen and you want to be able to make sure that you can take that quarter inch jack component out if you run into any trouble later on you don't want to just run uh, an extremely small amount of wire uh, because you do have to realize sometime you may have to do maintenance on your instrument later on and you want to prepare yourself that oh it's just the quarter inch jack I want to be able to pull this out without literally ripping the guts out of your guitar so let's start right here and heat up the wire and the component we're not getting hot here let me uh, let me clean my soldering iron. This is the importance of keeping your soldering iron nice and clean and tinned. I believe I went through that in uh, 
basic wiring. But if you don't keep it nice and clean, you're not going to be able to get the heat off the iron the way you need to. So we cleaned that up and let's see how it goes. There we go. There we got some solder moving. And I'm just going to take a screwdriver, hold that connection down, blow it, and there we go. Move on to the next one. We'll just set this up. And again, working in cavities on the guitars, uh, some of them can be challenging. You got to kind of work your way around wires and try to be careful that you don't burn existing wiring. And try and position some wires knowing that we've got other circuits that we have to run. Hold that into place. That's looking good. Okay, next wire. This one's being kind of a... Looks good. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to feed this wire out through that quarter inch jack hole. Oops, hit the camera. Sorry about that, people. We're going to lay that just like that. And we'll solder that to the back of the potentiometer quick. And we'll clean my soldering iron here. If you notice, too, that when you're soldering these connections, that for some odd reason the iron just doesn't seem to be working properly. It's probably because the tip's getting dirty. And I'm going to come around this way for this one. Gives me a little bit more room. I have a little bit of issue on this one too. Oh, I think it just spread out and soldered to the pot, so we'll hold it down and give it a blow, and I think we just got lucky. Okay, now what you want to do is just double check and kind of pull on each connection and make sure that you're all solid. All the grounds are in, and then we've got the wire hanging out of the uh, quarter inch jack so we can hook that up to the jack. So basically what we've done right now is we have completed our uh, entire ground circuit for the uh, Les Paul wire install.